वी वी हैव विद अस अ वेरी पैशनेट टेकी रिशिता मगदे हु हैज इंटर्न एट गूगल एज अ स्टेप इन टर्न इन 2024 एंड शी इज हियर टू शेयर हर एंटायर जर्नी राइट फ्रॉम अप्लाइंग टू द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एक्चुअली इन टर्निंग एट गूगल विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले आई वेलकम यू रिशिता टू नेक्स्ट टेकीज कुड वी स्टार्ट विद अ शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन फ्रॉम यू Yeah sure. Uh, so hi guys, I'm Rishita Mukte, and I'm currently a third year computer science student at Indira Gandhi Delhi Technical University, and I interned at Google in 2024. So like I was in Google in last August. So yeah. Okay. How did you hear about the STEP program, and what made it stand out to you? uh so i heard about the step program in my uh, first year itself uh, i heard it from my seniors who um, who took a session just like this and i came to know about this through uh, that and uh, what made it stand out was that uh, it it gives a opportunity to first and second year students to actually intern at uh, such a big company which is not a uh, very common occurrence so uh, you learn a lot of things when uh, you apply for this kind of program so that is what made me apply to it okay so uh, what qualifications or skills does google expect from a step in turn because you know all the ap- applicants applying for this opportunity will be in their second year of college and being in second year you do not have much uh, you know work experience so what kind of skills can like google expect from students so skills basically uh, they just look for basic skills just as uh, dsa in any language and they have removed any cgpa criteria they i guess just look for uh, that you should not have any sort of backlogs other than that i guess they have opened it to everyone every branch and uh, you can code in any language at all uh, their main focus stays on dsa they don't ask any uh, core cs fundamentals like os oops or a dbms so that is what is expected from a second year so that's what they ask okay so diving into the oa pattern so like how does the oa pattern look like for google and i mean does it include mcqs or it's only coding challenges or it's a mix of both so oa includes uh, only two questions so oa for off campus i guess there is no oa for only on campus there is a online assessment so in the online assessment they uh, typically ask uh, lead code easy to medium level questions and uh, everyone is able to complete those questions either completely or a few te- or remain remaining with a few test cases so that is what uh, generally oa looks for and there are no mcqs as such so uh, like you mentioned for off campus uh, you get a direct interview call while for on campus you have to attend the oa and then this is followed by the interview process yeah okay and uh, what like topics are frequently covered in the google step oa so i think everything is covered up but they don't go into a uh, higher level order questions like you can't I, i mean you won't expect something like graphs plus dp question you might get those individually but there won't be a mixture of those so complicated and hard level questions won't be there that is something otherwise all topics are covered okay so uh, like we can expect lead code medium questions absolutely okay so uh, like when it comes to resume building uh, you know making your resume stand out is very crucial irrespective of the company you are applying for because there are a large number of applicants applying so you need to have a resume you know that can quickly click with the recruiters there so how did you tailor your resume according to this step program and uh, was there any particular resume template that you followed uh so firstly i'll uh, answer the second question first so uh something you could look up for that uh, you could see there are a lot of templates on overleaf so that is something you could look on uh, because to not add too many colors or something keep it simple keep it plain and keep it crisp crisp because people uh, the interviewers the reviewers do not have that much of time to uh, read the entire 2 to 3 page long if it's there so keep it one page long keep it uh, crisp so that all your skills are mentioned projects are mentioned anything that you've done in college is completely covered but in short points so for resume the crux is that you know keep, keep it simple one page and uh, like uh, add yes. numbers and you know make it in bullet points rather than having long paragraphs Hmm. Okay. 
सो वर देर एनी स्पेसिफिक रिसोर्सेज बी इट बुक्स और यू नो वेबसाइट्स और कोडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म्स लाइक हैकर रैंक लीड कोड दैट यू फाउंड वर वेरी हेल्पफुल वाइल यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर योर यू नो कोडिंग पार्ट इन दी ओ so i primarily uh, practice questions on lead code uh, but other than that you could look up questions uh, for like uh, from sheets that are given if like strivers dsa sheet is quite famous so something that you can refer to for topic wise division of questions so uh, basically you could practice questions topic wise but this is like initial stage later on you should do mixed uh, level of questions so that you get a idea because in interviews you won't know what is coming towards you you will have to guess what data structure you have to use so that is something you can practice other than that i guess all platform platforms are equally good it is just what really suits you how you are able to adjust to it so yeah okay um so uh, now moving on to the interview process uh, so how many rounds did you go through and what was the difficulty level of the questions you know that were put across uh okay so uh, i had two uh, interview rounds both were technical in nature so no cs score fundamentals were asked only uh, dsa questions so each round is of 45 minutes and in that either two questions or one uh, hard question is covered hard is as in long question is covered so that is how the interview works and you are asked to code on google docs so basically you do not have an id that uh, auto corrects or auto completes so you need to keep that in mind and practice accordingly uh, so that you know the entire code and do not expect your id to complete it simply um other than that yeah that's it okay i mean coding on google docs can be you know a little tough because you know we have this habit of coding on lead code or hacker rank and then we get an auto complete there so we avoid mistakes so i think this is something that viewers can you know keep in their mind and they can practice it on google docs also okay so uh, and i guess i can add one more point yes. uh so there is i mean so one of the very important thing is to keep communicating with your uh, interviewer because uh, that is what they look upon in mainly google that is the culture how it works so more than if you're not even able to complete the, your question what they are looking forward is that you are able to communicate the, with them whatever you're going through so think out loud that is something you could keep in mind okay so communication is the key for google Okay so when it comes to preparation were there any specific study routines or strategies that you followed and you know they helped you crack this uh, google step program uh so i guess if uh, the people who are in first year they have a lot of time and they can cover each topic in depth uh because they have to give an interview almost in the second year and uh, end of the second year so something they can do is being consistent like uh, they can go up to 10 questions daily or something like that because they have a lot of time to cover even like the first year studies are very easy so they have a lot of time so being consistent with that would really help them uh take their a uh, step interview for second year students obviously there are a certain time constraints so what they could do is uh, being consistent is what is important so they could take lesser amount of questions but uh, like five questions daily or three to four hours of coding would also do and uh, reviewing it actually after uh, you have done so like daily revision of what you have done yesterday uh, would actually help you in uh, building long term memory and actually remembering those concepts while giving your interview so yeah that's something they could follow so basically you know you have to code daily is uh, you know that that like cons- again consistency is the key here because if you code daily you have that in your habit and that that's how you can you know understand your concepts in a much better way okay so uh, rishita how was your experience working as a google intern i mean you know right from applying for this opportunity to actually making it into google so how was the work culture there and uh, like something uh, you learned there and how was it uh so i guess uh, the entire google culture is very inclusive in nature and uh, they really love to code is what you can say they really deeply love tech that is something you observe and uh, you yourself feel a little uh, downgraded in front of them as uh, there are a lot of talented people there you could meet you could you have a um, 
immense opportunity for networking there with multiple people even the interns they are really good people and um, another perk was uh, good food i guess um, other than that they send goodies and they have a lot of competitions sports everything is there so my experience was uh, really nice um yeah that's it's it. quite happening at google basically yeah okay so uh, before we wrap up do you have any final advice for you know all our applicants who are applying for this uh, step internship i guess keep calm and keep coding that is something you can learn. Okay so thank you so much Ashita for sharing your valuable insights with us I am sure you viewers will find this very helpful all the best for all the students who are applying for Google step program I really hope you guys make it at Google and uh, like Ashita mentioned you know stay focused keep coding and you know don't forget to be positive throughout the journey